Hey, I'm Roland and we're taking a look at the Fairphone 3. The Fairphone 3 is the third generation of a Dutch project that has the aim to produce a sustainable and fairly made phone, uh, which means they're trying to use materials that are coming from Congo and other places uh, that are fairly produced, which means the people that mine them are paid well and they're working not like 16 hours a day, but probably more like eight hours and they're making more money trying to keep the environment intact and they're also trying to get it produced more fairly which means the people that buy build this is at the Arima plant which is their contract manufacturer from Taiwan that has a plant in uh, Suzhou, China um, they're trying to pay them fairly they have them working not over hours and yeah, doing all the things wrong right that Foxconn and all the other contract manufacturers are doing wrong that, that's the main goal of this project that uh, Fairphone has been pursuing for the next couple of, uh, last couple of years and this is the latest model that's come come out of this whole yeah project basically it's the Fairphone 3 it's a much more modern device than the previous generation so they're using a, an up-to-date SOC which is a Snapdragon 632 from from Qualcomm it's a 2.2 gigahertz octa-core SOC that you might know from the Redmi 7 from Xiaomi or the Moto G7 um, but in this case, this is a fairly produced smartphone, so it's not 150 euros like the Xiaomi's or the uh, Motorola phones, but this sells for 450 euros, which is a steep price, but you have to consider this is made for a lifetime of about five years, not just a year or half a year even that the other manufacturers are making their devices for. Um, the difference is in the design. As you can see, this is a transparent phone there. So they're not only trying to be more transparent than the others about the production, but they're also using it in their design. So you can see all these antenna lines around here. You can see where the buttons are and pretty much see all the components that are visible from the back. You can also take off this back cover. I'll do that in a minute, but I'll tell you more about the phone first. So we have a 5.7 inch screen that's a FHD plus resolution. So it's 2160 by 1080 pixels. It's an LCD. It's decently bright. I'm in the, um, outside here in Berlin and it's summer. It's pretty well re readable. No problem in this regard. Up here we have an 8 megapixel front facing camera and up here is the earpiece and as you can see it has pretty big bezels but that's also because they're trying to make it last longer so you're, they're keeping the bezels just to make it more rugged so if you drop it the screen doesn't scratch or break right away there's also a Gorilla Gas 5 cover on here and the screen is a module in itself which costs just 90 euros you can order it from Fairphone and you can replace it yourself there's a screwdriver in the package and you can just remove it without any problems I think even the screen uh, can be replaced totally without any uh, screws that need to be used. Um, let's move over to the back. We have four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of flash storage in here. Up here is the uh, main camera, which is a Sony IMX363 sensor, which is a 12 megapixel shooter that you know from uh, devices from the Google Pixel line, for example. So it's a high-end camera. It has an f1.8 aperture, so it's pretty uh, bright sensor or there should be plenty of light hitting the sensor there. Uh, they worked with ArcSoft to optimize the camera and it should actually take pretty nice pictures. We have the fingerprint reader here on the back and there's a dual LED flash up here. Other than that, as you can see already, there's a 3000 milliamp hour battery that's this big block down here. You can remove this and you can charge this through the USB-C port that's on the bottom right here. Um, there are a bunch of modules that you'll be able to replace on this device. So I'm gonna open it up in a second and here is one of the modules behind this these holes which is the speaker module. You have the power button right here and the volume rocker right there. Up top is your earpiece or your, the, the earphone jack plus the noise cancelling microphone up top and let's just try and open this thing up there should be the grip right here just pops open like all the other cheap phones that you know from back in the day when phones still used to be kind of more easily serviceable so you can remove the battery here then you have the two sim card slots and the sd card slots over here on this side you can use them separately so you can have two sim cards and the two uh, and the single sd card and down here is basically if you remove this battery screw open this frame there's a bunch of 
small screws here and then you can take out modules that you can buy separately so there's a bunch of modules you have a bottom module which con contains uh, the USB-C port for example which costs around 30 euros there's a, a speaker module that costs I think 20 euros it is um, the camera module is another 50 euros you can re re remove and replace that by yourself no problem and there's a top module that is around 30 euros I think and the most expensive part is as always as on any phone the screen the whole thing runs Android 9.0 in this case so we have Android Pie on here which is um, I highly commend them for that because they're trying to be more up-to-date on the software here and let's just go into the about phone and down here we should have a place where it says Android 9 right there um, nowadays they should be able to upgrade the device more easily to Android 10 for example because the older Fairphones always had this problem where they were totally out of date on the software but with GSI and Project Trouble and everything, this thing should be much more open for, for one, modding using other ROMs and also for upgrading it. So let's just hope they'll be able to upgrade this thing pretty fast uh, in the next coming, uh, in the next few months and even years. I'm just gonna try and go to the camera here for a second and we'll try and have a small look at this. So that's me right there. And we're gonna switch over to the main camera here and try and see how fast this focuses. My LG G8S think right here is not doing the best job of focusing right now, but it seems to be a pretty decent camera. I think the Sony sensor should be doing an awesome job on this. You can even take 4K video and full HD and everything. There is no optical image stabilization, but overall it's really an impressive feature feet for a small company from the Netherlands. They have just over 60 um, people working there and they've already sold 170,000 or 170,000 uh, models of the first two gens of this device. They want to sell another 40,000 this year in Europe mainly because the US is not being served yet. They're sticking to Germany and a bunch of other countries where people are more eco conscious I guess and yeah we'll see how that works it's 450 euros you can buy all the modules it's supposed to last five years and this is the first sustainable four phone or the first um, the third gen of the first sustainable phone that came to market which is the Fairphone 3